We're talking about Black Widow, and is the movie, could the movie possibly be the first Marvel flop? I said the Eternals is going to likely be the most Marvel flop many, many times. The Eternals looks boring, it looks terrible, and I said in the past it might be the, it will likely be the, it will be the models, but again, that was before the Eternals trailer was revealed. But, there are people online, especially the quartering, especially other channels, Yellow Flash, and other... YouTube sounds. There's more videos on this topic now, but according to people, Black Widow could be a flop, and it's of course based off uh, Google Trends, which apparently they took it here, where they said, where they basically just handpicked a bunch of movies. One of them wasn't even a movie; it was a TV show, and they put a Quiet Place, Loki, Luca for some reason. That's a Disney Plus exclusive show, and yeah, and of course, you know, Space Jam, not Fast and the Furious 9, which I put a comparison to in the other video, and if I put, if you could look at the comparison, Black Widow actually had more search interest than all the other movies before Quiet Place and Loki came out, so Black Widow was actually being both Loki and A Quiet Place Part 2. And let's not forget that there's constant ads for Black Widow on YouTube, on TV, probably on Disney Plus. I don't have Disney Plus, but there are constant ads for Black Widow on Wine and on YouTube, especially YouTube and on TV. There's tar there, on TV, I usually skip through the ads on TV, and the YouTube does like four. I usually see three or four ads for Black Widow, but it's mostly on TV you see ads for Black Widow, and on other sites. You sign see ads for Black Widow on Facebook. You sign see ads for Black Widow on Twitter, on social media sites. Okay? And people think that, oh, Google Search is the big death of a movie. If you want to see a Google Search, look up, uh, look up the comparison between Arita Battle Angel and How to Train a Dragon the Hidden World. Despite Arita only making $85 million and How to Train a Dragon making $166 million domestically, Despite this, Arita had more sorters in its, for, in its first weekends than How to Train a Dragon. Of course, I had far less sorters than Captain Marvel, which made like $400 million at the box office. But Black Widow, you know, is doing better, pre, you know, because movies did Skywalker and sorters a week before they come out. Black Widow is not coming out until the week after the week of 4th of July. And... Not many people are really concerned about Black Widow right now. The big movie of the week is Fast 9. And Loki was the big TV show of earlier this month. And the big movie of the end of May was A Quiet Place Part 2. So naturally, A Quiet Place, we can compare it. We can actually go on Google or something. Well, Twins, with again, where Fast 9 and Black Widow being advertised, both of those movies. Fast 9, I believe, is being advertised far more because that movie is coming out literally, in a car, literally tomorrow. But if you look at F9 here and Black Widow, you know, and F9 is projected to make $60 million at the box office. And I put, second one is Black Widow and F9. Okay. Well, people just could put Fast and the Furious 9 too, which that could also work. But Black Widow is beating F9. F9. Okay, same thing with Quiet Place 2. Which I think most people are going to put Quiet Place 2 like that. With I bet that's the most common search for Quiet Place 2 here. And this is Quiet Place 2. Here in Black Widow is doing just as well in terms of search and the movie's not out yet. If you look at the pre-search for Black Widow, which of course most of these people are going to ignore, Black Widow had higher search amount for against the Quiet Place 2. And of course, you can pull Fast and the Furious 9 with, I bet, that say for a quiet place, you know. Okay, I'm spelling it incorrectly. Fast and Furious. Here, yeah, we have Fast and Furious. The search overall for Fast and Furious. Here. Yeah. But, Google Fast and Furious 9, okay, because Fast and Furious is an entire movie franchise, excuse me, 
that's of course including all the other Fast and the Furious series, but this is Fast and the Furious 9. Yeah, Fast and the Furious 9 is doing worse than Black Widow. I think a movie that we should worry, people should really be worried about is Boss Baby 2. This movie is doing a biz movie in terms of Google search if we put Boss Baby 2 or Space Jam A New Legacy. Well, Space Jam A New Legacy is not even coming out until a while. Boss Baby 2 is coming out next week. And that is pretty concerning the search for the Boss Baby 2. But again, the Boss Baby 2 is a lot... I think there's a lot more ads for the Boss Baby 2 than Fast and Furious 9 and Black Widow combined. There's probably doesn't many ads for Boss Baby 2 as Black Widow and Quiet Place Part 2, excuse me, again. And Boss Baby 2 is also another long delayed sequel. And again, I don't think many people are really searching on it because again, kids are going, Oh look, I didn't see Boss Baby, I'm going to watch it. I want to watch Boss Baby or something like that. They're gonna, that movie could be more reliant on the ads as well. Most family friendly movies, most family entertainment movies, are typically reliant more on ads than actually selling their movie on than actual sorts on popularity. That's why anime, that's why movies like Boss Baby are doing very badly as well. Also, I think the movie is called Family Business as well. And also, the U.S. Dollar Hour decision to change the release date as well. But Boss Baby 2, there's a ton of advertising for the Boss Baby 2. I, 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 like, for example, you could probably the other three movies to put with Boss Baby 2. And of course, Space Jam, there's Boodoo Legacy or Space Jam 2. You can really see. But Space Jam 2, you see tons of advertising for Space Jam 2 at stores. You see tons of advertising for it everywhere else where you compare it to all the other movies. And, you know, Last week there was there was tar- there was there was a Space Jam game coming out. There was cross promotion for Space Jam Two with other Warner Bros. properties, other advertising for you know it wherever you go. You know not really much YouTube ads, but everywhere else you've seen ads for Space Jam Two. You've been ads for Space Jam Two, and again all these movies are long delayed sequels. I guess for Space Jam Two, was I think that was always supposed to release in twenty twenty one. All, everybody knows about all these movies already, especially Quiet Place 2. Most people fans of the US of the movie were going to go see a Quiet Place 2, except for the people who hated the movie, was of course that was the people who didn't want to see the movie, which is why it's still doing worse in the first movie, or just lost, or just lost interest in the series in general, or, or just watched it because they wanted to have watched something in the feeders. That is that that wanted to watch the newest movie. Yeah. But if we look at this chart, Black Widow isn't doing as bad as, you know, the quartering and Yellow Flash and all these YouTube channels. I would say it is. Okay. Yeah, if you compare it to A Quiet Place, which this is a week before, I believe, this is the week before the movie came out, was May 9th to 15th. I believe it was a week before the movie came out. May 29th to, oh yeah, it was a week. A week before the movie came out, because the movie came out on this weekend and peaked around here, I believe. Oh, I thought this was its first weekend. Weekend. But, I think, no, yeah, this was its first weekend. But Quiet Place 2, again, if you really look at it, A Quiet Place 2, it was two months between two massive movies. Which was something that never really happened in Hollywood, except for, you know, the boy months of October, of, you know, August, September, and October. You know... It was the first major summer blockbuster as well. So, that and this is in the United States, of course. And A Quiet Place 2 it still has a lot of interest as well. Because it's the only big movie out. But I think the interest is going to go down once Fast and the Furious and Black Widow come out. And Feed is in Space Jam 2. If you look at Space Jam 2, it's at 5 and Boss Baby is at a 4. Here. Yeah. So, Boss Baby and Space Jam, I think what people should be more about, about those two movies... Bombing at the box office and Black Widow bombing at the box office. Yeah, I think Black Widow is not going to gross $100 million, like I said once in the, before, because of the pandemic, but the movie will still do really well worldwide. And we're, this is about the, this is also the Dowdy Worldwide box office. This. And of course, Fast and the Furious 9 is being a quiet place part 2. I wouldn't be surprised that Black Widow catches up to. And if you look at here, Black Widow is the most popular movie over the past year worldwide. And Fast and the Furious 9. Fast and the Furious 9 already made $300 million worldwide, basically. Already made $300 million without an American release, kind of like Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom did. 
And I think Fast and Furious 9 will probably make around, end up making around $600, $700 million worldwide, depending on, on how well the movie is received among, you know, American audiences. But they always ignore this. They always ignore this. We have to put the comparison in for these movies here. But people always ignore that Black Widow was already very popular, is already very popular worldwide. The, the places where Fast and Furious does well is in Africa and the and parts of Europe. The only the biggest soccer is in Chi is China and a quiet place too is the most pop most searched in China for some reason. You know? And you have the but again China's search is not really that great because of the great firewall of China. So we don't know what the real most searched is, but even then over time you know, here, where it includes areas of all sorts volume, which isn't really, which is mostly like Africa and countries in Asia that aren't really made the markets in the free theoretical market. You can really see at most of the major markets India, Korea, Japan, Australia, Germany, USA, Canada, Mexico, and more of, you know, Brazil, Brazil Peru, Colombia, Argentina, Chile. All of these markets, and of course the UK as well, and Turkey, and Russia, of course, which, that's like the most, that's probably, Black Widow's gonna probably make like $50 million, and Russia alone, wouldn't be surprised, because Black Widow is a Russian character, so, wouldn't be surprised if that movie does really well in Russia, not $50 million, but like, funny, like, they'd be above the average in Russia, because Fast 9 goes like 20 to $30 million now, I believe, and and go probably Black Widow's gonna probably go from the upper high of there, and I think this movie's gonna gross around 137 to 200 million dollars domestically, which I think is a so given. Probably 150 to 200 million dollars domestically, and will probably do 300 million dollars internationally, which means this movie will make 500 to 600 million dollars. Yes, it won't be the highest grossing movie, and also they have confirmed that it is the last time Scarlett Johansson will be in the MCU. So I think fans are going to be, either way, if this movie is a failure, it will probably will become a cult classic among Marvel fans, and rest the movie people actually hate. But now the final joy about Black Widow is, if the movie is considered bad by people online, not just the random person's opinion on the internet, say, you know, but if it's considered bad by a majority of people like Wonder Woman, it probably will flop. But it is Marvel, you know, as well. But I think Marvel. After Black Widow and Spider Man, no, after Black Widow is gonna go down in quality. And you don't know how many we, and again, they, you know, people like the advertising for Black Widow was very, very, very weird. Okay, I seen the ads of Black Widow, and they're not saying they're not like, oh my god, you know, blah, 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 blah. The most of the people who are talking about this stuff with, you know, the actors saying this stuff, blah, 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 are mostly the same people and mostly get trained to the same audiences. Most of the normies. Do not give a crap about cancel culture. They just want to live their lives just, you know, doing their stuff here. You know. But yeah, I think the real concerns should be for The Boss Baby 2 and Space Jam 2. Those are the real movies they should be really be concerned for coming out as well. So, yeah. I'm going to actually put some another movie that is predicted to flop by the critics is G.I. Joe. I don't know what the movie is called, but I know there's a G.I. Joe movie coming out. We could put G.I. Joe. That's another movie I think they should be concerned about as well. But I am not really good at sorting that movie up, obviously. Yeah, I'm not really good at sorting up G.I. Joe. But yeah, G.I. Joe. Yeah, I put down G.I. Joe. To, which I think is a much better comparison, obviously. But... Because at least it's spelled, at least it's put out correctly here. But yeah, we have G.I. Joe, which I think is a number we'd be con concerned about. But G.I. Joe is coming out at the end of July. So, hmm. So yeah, could Black Widow be a flop? I don't think it will be, considering that before, you know, here. We can also put in Loki. We can also put in Loki as well, you know. Loki the movie TV show 
And Black Widow was performing similarly to Loki before it came out on TV. And Loki really started skyrocketing weeks before release. And like, um, and like Black Widow, there was a massive amount of advertising for Loki as well. Now Loki is falling out, and now they're going to be advertising Black Widow, and that's going to start going up probably by the end of next week. So there we go about the box office here. I don't, you know, again, Black Widow might actually beat A Quiet Place in terms of sources. You know, I think it's kind of too early to determine if Black Widow will be a flop or not based off Google Trends. With again, you know, and yeah, we have Loki here as well. So could Black Widow flop at the box office? I think it has like a 5 to 10% chance of flopping. Being at the box office, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to rule it out. Because everybody said, and the dog said that, that in the Heights will do well at the box office. Everybody in the dog said... Said, uh, in the heights would be a box office success. Says, but we all know what had handed out about in, in the heights is probably the biggest box office failure of the year, barring Wire in the Last Dragon. Again, 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 here. Here. And again, a lot of people thought that Guardians of the Galaxy would flop. And I bet if this movie does massively successful, they're going to try to convince them to make another Black Widow movie. They're going to try to convince it. But yeah, there are things that are going against it. There are, of course, Scout Johansson's weird messages he have been saying about the movie. Uh, see her dying in Endgame, of course. That's the second one as well. So... And of course, Disney Plus, which, you know, the Iron Cut of Disney Plus, we will never know if this movie is a flop or not. Not, but, here. Yeah. But, if you look at, you know, Here, and yeah, Black Widow. Here, and there was not way made the mainstream media that was saying that the media is not really going to say, but they're not really saying Cruella is a flop. I'm just going to up Cruella a flop. I have I have Cruella on my list of movies that flop, but I think that Cruella might actually somehow manage to make back its money. It really depends on the budget, but Cruella here. But well, yeah, Cruella's budget is around a hundred to two hundred million dollars. Yeah. Yeah, Quiet Place was going to be Cruella. I, th I think that was guaranteed to happen considering that Quiet Place is an established series, and Cruella is basically just Disney said, you know what? No, uh, act. People want to see more of. People want to see more of a Quiet Place. At the box office, but no one really wanted to see Cruella. I think that's the reason why Cruella is flopping. But we're gonna really see on the when is Black Widow coming out? I got to see. We're really gonna see the joy of the box office is gonna really decide on whether this movie is gonna flop or not. Because I said that oh yeah, In the Heights is gonna be a massive success, but that movie ended up being a gigantic flop. The box office of 2021 has been pretty unforgiving so far. And Black Widow could be another one of the, you know, carnage of the box office. And it'll be another strike against Disney. <laughs> and it won't really go bold too well for a same scene in the Eternals. Yeah, not, I'm not really going to say... And yeah, Spider-Man No Way Home is definitely going to be a billion dollars assess. Given the hype for that movie. 
I think that movie's gonna eclipse all the Marvel movies released this year. And unless Black Widow does really well in China and Russia, which will probably be the movies I'll do most in. So, and yeah, I don't really think that <laughs> Saint Sea and the Tones are really gonna make the box office that great. Saint Sea might do well because there's not many movies coming out in August besides a Paw Patrol movie and a sequel to Don't Breathe and, you know, Wild Wells with, you know, a bunch of, U with a bunch of YouTubers in a fi fixed old video game. But other than that, you know, I think the next major movie out besides Black Widow I want to see is uh, Venom 2. 2, of course. I actually think that Venom 2 about will beat Black Widow at the worldwide box office. I actually do think that Black Widow will be beaten by Venom 2 just because of how big Venom 1 was and how big it was in China. I actually do think that Venom 2 at the big carnage will beat Black Widow. Worldwide, so I, I do think that Venom 2 has a set on like Black Widow had a chance of breaking a billion dollars. But we'll we will see how the box office treats Black Widow going on. And it has been proven that streaming hasn't really affected the box office because I think people want to see movies in the theater, yeah, you know, judging by a quiet place part 2's box office success. But the straight of movies haven't really been that impressive. We really just need a couple of blockbusters so you can have the box office going back to normal. Well, I think the box office should go back to normal around November to December. Where we're starting to have those big blockbusters coming out every week, kind of like in the summer weekends. Again, movies like Spider Man No Way Home and Top Gun, uh, No Time to Die, Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, you know, all these big movies. I think summer of 2021 will be, will kind of be pretty slow at the box office. I think I said Black, I got those Black Widow as the scenes from Civil War. And Age of Ultron. I just find that funny. They still put the trailer for the movie, actually. Yeah. So, could Black Widow flop? I think it's a small chance of flopping. Being at the box office. Basically, you know, there. I think it definitely has a better chance of making money than Marvel's future projects. <laughs> like the Marvels. Okay. And, yep. And, yeah. Black Widow also has the one advantage as well that the movie is coming out in. I I think they did have one thing they were they had Black Widow sort of released on July Fourth weekend, which means the boss people would have been basically screwed. Oh uh, yeah, I think the yeah boss people could do well because of the Fourth of July weekend and that's it. Cause what other option is there? The fucking puds, <laughs> the freaking puds, which I think will do like every other puds movie. The or, another fan problem again with Black Widow is franchise fatigue. Are people getting sick of superhero movies and Marvel altogether? I think superhero movies are starting to go on their way out as well. You know, people want something different. People, you know, most superhero movies, with the exception of a very few, like Spider-Verse, are mostly the same. Mostly the same stuff. Mostly the same things. Like, yes, I bet we're going to get a photo Incredibles because that fan base will demand for more Incredibles movies. But other than that, you know, I think that, you know, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been spending like 15 minutes on if Black Widow will flop or not, okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think it will flop, but that's my opinion. You know, I want, I don't want it to flop, number one, because I want the box I was to recover, and I think this movie will help the box I was to cover, and number two... I want the, I want, you know, this movie might actually be good, but it really depends on the quality of the movie and how people perceive the movie. And no, not the, not the astounding establishment views the movie. Okay, nobody gives a crap how, you know, you know, the establishment on Juan Tomatoes views the movie. Nobody gives a crap about their opinion because they call Booksmart and they call every Disney movie a masterpiece. We just look at the verified audience scores and the fact that Cruella and... Wire all have essentially have the same score, save for Mercy Miss of Evil, but Godzilla and the Quiet Place have much lower scores by audiences is, is, than, of course, these movies. But if you look at IMDb, Quiet Place Part 2 is definitely much more favored than Wire and, you know, of course, Cruella. So, yeah, there we go about Black Widow, the movie. Could the movie flop? Could the movie be a success? Who really knows at this point because it's just here. 
And the, I think Black Widow's box office success will basically be based off of how well Fast and the Furious does at the box office. Because Fast and the Furious 9 is a major movie. And you look at the Fast and the Furious 9, could go to Fast and the Furious 9 or F9 as they call it. <laughs> as they put the name because they went out of titles for movies. You know, Fast 9 has made, I, oh, I believe has made, uh, yeah, there's the first day previews here. Here, and a lot of people are saying it's so great and it's just a perfect blockbuster to basically a perfect popcorn movie for you to go out and see. And young people really like Marvel. People, young people really like Fast and the Furious. I think the reason why In the Heights flop is because older audiences, which like musicals more, do not want to see it. Younger audiences love movies like Black Widow, love movies like A Quiet Place Part 2, love movies like, Fat, like Fast 9, you know, I bet Space Jam will probably do really well because of nostalgia. Most younger people love Space Jam as well. That's another nostalgia movie. People for, for 44 and under, mostly millennials, and and people who grew up watching, were growing up with space movies like Space Jam, people in the 2000s and 90s. People growing up with movies like Space Jam, I think that movie would make money based off nostalgia alone. Alone. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and I think Black Widow's box office will really be determined by this movie's box office. I think that's a more comparable comparison than At A Quiet Place Part Two's box office. And especially when this movie comes out, I'll put this compare, I'll put a movie comparison with Quiet Place Part Two because that is the other only other post-pandemic movie out there that is also exclusively in theaters as well, like Fast Nine. Until it eventually comes to streaming a couple months later when nobody watches the movies in the theaters anymore. So. Yeah. Yeah, basically you have to wait a very long time before F9 comes on theaters. They basically said, nope, you have to watch it on, on you know, theaters. You have to watch it. I think the movie being exclusively on theaters will boost this box office definitely. We, But yeah, movies like Cruella. I was definitely going to suffer from Fast 9, In the Heights especially. I think In the Heights, regardless of his financial failure, regardless if he tried to use it, because I also had a very soft opening on HBO Max as well. So yeah, there we go. So could Black Widow flop? I think it's a small chance. I think we really have to sit, wait to see what's coming, wait to see how people receive the movie, and wait to see, basically, how people receive Fast 9. So that's basically it. Good night. Goodbye.